Tesla stock price is set to drop to $100 per share over the next 18 to 24 months, according to Paul. And we should not entirely dismiss this because Paul has a pretty high rating. I mean, 1,500 out of 14,000 bloggers for number 3,000 out of 22,000 overall experts. Not too bad. Although when we look at the returns, not very high for the last 12 months. But of course, we have been having quite a market during this time. And me, as a basically all-in Tesla stock investor in my stock portfolio, I actually really pay very close attention to any bears and anything that says that Tesla stock is going down. Because that's where the bad news will come from first. It will not be from super Tesla bulls. It will be from the bears first. But... It's important to distinguish the difference between, oh, this is valid and this is just a bunch of bull. And it starts off really aggressive. Tesla's title as king of the EV hill appears to be numbered in months, not years, months. Whoa. And then because of competition, if Tesla is forced to slash prices to stay in business, income will disappear and the stock price will suffer a dramatic decline over the next 18 to 24 months months now secretly behind the scenes for the last few years i have been working on developing this software where you plug it in and it detects mind viruses and then it translates the web page into what is actually going to happen so let's see how it will work on this page it's still in beta but let's see okay so everything that's in red has been changed by the software and it basically says tesla's title as king of av hill appears to not be numbered in months but this article will age like milk i'm it's still in beta it's a little bit harsh so but it seems it, it it's working if tesla is forced to slash price to stay in business competition will disappear huh it said income will disappear but i guess it knows that competition will disappear if tesla lowers its prices because tesla has the absolute highest of any automaker so if Tesla lowers the prices enough, everyone else is literally going to go out of business. There's only so long that you can sell your cars at a loss and not go bankrupt. Okay, it's time to turn off that. And uh, now it's going to be actually what the article is written about. But it looks like the main thing is competition is coming. Okay, so let's examine. Maybe there is some truth to it. What if there is? Let's see what arguments he has so he says mushrooming competition <laughs> very interesting choice of words i'm wondering if this was directly targeted to tesla stock investors so he's specifically referring to chevy one of the chevy evs at thirty thousand dollar base uh setup okay the release date is two years from now basically uh just like if you go back two years ago and we look at Nicholas Badger release date. It was scheduled for 2022. Now, where is it? Definitely not here. And you might say, but Matt, that's not fair. This is not GM. We're talking about Chevy, which is basically GM. This is Nikola. Let's let's talk about GM. Okay. Let's talk about GM. Let's talk about GM's Hummer as an example, because we know that Chevy Bolts, for example, they catch on fire and they are so bad that the dealers have to give incentives to people to buy this car. And no one wants it, which is understandable because you wouldn't want your house to burn down if you park the car inside your garage. So let's talk Hummer. I think it's fairly fair. Okay, so General Motors has only been producing up to a dozen electric Hummers a day in its destroyed facility factory according to the wall street journal and that's far from ideal when the automaker has over 70,000 reservations and this is try not to laugh here as the drive notes it would take gm 17 years to be able to fulfill all its orders at that pace i mean what's really disappointing is this right here so it started off all right and then it just completely flattened now, let's look at Tesla's chart during those years. What happened to Tesla's deliveries? So from 2017, same time frame, boom, more than 10x when we include 2022, which is going to be about 1.5 or so when we really run it up uh, deliveries. So of course, there is no doubt that this time Chevy will 
deliver on this promise to start actual production without any problems in 2024 at this ridiculously low price definitely no issue is going to appear here all right so let's take a look here Be picture below is a sampling of about 30 vehicles for sale into 2023 now of course at the top you will put the better ones because you know you want to make your point um so let's see what we got here uh we got nissan uh battery size 40 kilowatts range is 212 miles well we should really say zero gas all thrill as long as you don't go any there 250 miles is really the absolute bare 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 minimum that you want in an ev anything less than that is just not acceptable if you include a truck you have to include a cyber truck as well so we're gonna move on bolt we already covered this fire vehicle this one kona electric all right so at first this looked pretty exciting thirty-four thousand dollars for an electric vehicle and you do have 258 miles in range sounds pretty amazing and then when you go into the features and everything uh if you are comparing value for value and if you're comparing for example model 3 with this this is pretty small this is 42 and a half thousand us dollars and model 3 is still after all these price hikes is 46 thousand nine hundred ninety dollars and you get a much faster car a little bit more range and of course you get a tesla i mean like the safest car ever built almost the only safer cars are over tesla vehicles and the car gets better over time and of course you will not have any charging problems if you go on a trip so we will have to dismiss this one as a serious competitor as well because let's face it tesla can build a cheaper car smaller car and just completely destroy competitors like this completely obliterate them. then there's the id buzz that killed the buzz because of delays more delays so there's nothing really to look into here that he's presenting i was expecting something more better put together but no this is not really looking good at all and this is where it really all falls apart Self-driving autonomous autos are the holy grail of big tech research and development efforts. Apple is working overtime to have a vehicle by 2025, according to widespread rumors and speculation by analysts. I looked into this whole Apple car thing. I have a video on the channel. It's a good video. You should actually watch it if you want to learn more about everything that you need to know about Apple car. Apple first started their Project Titan, which is their Apple car, in 2014. And today they have nothing to show for it. Even more, they went through multiple, multiple, multiple teams. And there was one point a few years ago where the project was directly reported to Tim Cook, the CEO, which is evidence that, okay, we this actually matters. We are serious about this. Now it's not even reported to the CEO. If you're telling me that you are competing with Tesla, you won't be able to compete with Tesla unless it's the company's major priority. And for Apple, it's not. So another thing is Tesla has its first pick of engineers. If you fail at Tesla, you go to Apple if you want to go on if you want to work on vehicles. So to say that Apple is working overtime, this is so absurd. I mean, this is almost as absurd as saying that a Tesla, if Tesla lowers prices, it will lose income and competition will be even higher. No, competition would be destroyed if Tesla lowers its prices as long as Tesla can keep up with even more demand because it's production limited a more accurate thing to say here would be apple is working overtime to avoid getting into car business at all costs basically they are they have screwed it up so many times and it just doesn't stop leadership changed multiple times you can watch that video you'll see the whole the whole story it's not pretty so paul has lost a lot of credibility uh, that he had about tesla with just that one statement <laughs> apple is not a problem at all okay and then he talks about alphabet and google i strongly disagree with the lidar approach um 
this is I, I i can have more respect about a point like this because there might be some money for some limited amount of time before tesla just goes in and captures the whole market if they make lidar work first before tesla figures out full cell driving um so but this is completely wrong still i wouldn't go into business like that like the only way you would pursue lidar really is because you see how much far ahead tesla is and you just have no hope of ever catching up with tesla so you decide to go into lidar because tesla is not going to go into lidar and it will take a little bit longer for tesla to go into complex city uh downtown areas where lidar you know if you program it you can get away with it um and maybe for a year or two you can make some money maybe even three years maybe even a little bit longer if you get really really lucky because remember tesla is going to be production constraints so they will not be able to capture all of the market all at once it's not like they will make 40 million vehicles in just one single year no it's going to be it's going to take time to build up so that's really the only logical reason that there is to pursue lidar you just admitted that tesla completely defeated you but you just want to pick up the scrums before tesla just dominates everything everywhere so at this point this article is just pure entertainment but it doesn't stop there this one try not to laugh at this one <laughs> watch this however however prices on the high side versus ramping competition and old school networks of dealership service uh, service sites all over the world for existing gas powered automakers could become a huge problem for future tesla company growth and profitability okay so you're saying that tesla vehicles cost a lot of money but all dealers are making their cars more expensive to produce and sell because of the car dealer network but somehow making your car more expensive to produce will result in you beating tesla because it's going to be cheaper for a consumer I think I like this guy. This guy should be a comedian. He's really good at it. He's really good at it. If you can buy a car, truck, SUV with similar battery life and recharging mechanics at a lower price with adequate safety designs. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Performance capabilities and smarter warranty coverage. Most all consumers will opt to buy EVs not produced by Tesla. Yeah, that's true, except that when you compare any other EV value for value, Tesla always wins. So Tesla will not be able to make sales because their cars will be better than competitions. Great point. Definitely. This makes about as much sense as reducing inflation by giving more money to people by printing it yeah interesting tesla's dominance could easily be ending in 18 to 24 months from now because volkswagen and gm will be outselling tesla by 25 and 26 and the only way tesla can or may be able to stick around is through the offering of lower price lower margin vehicle designs yes of course that's definitely right has to be because if I want to order the Model 3 right now, I would have to wait from October to December. And my experience with Tesla has been, it's always whatever thing they put in here, just ignore this. Just It's going to be postponed to the last minute, basically. So December, that's three months from now. And there's so much demand that they even had to remove one of the actually the most popular model the long range all wheel drive model so that people either buy this one the more expensive one or the cheaper one which is not what most people really want but because there's so much demand well Tesla has, has to do something this simplifies manufacturing process makes everything simpler to produce more vehicles to catch up with demand 
So, of course, Tesla will no longer be at the top because people are willing to pay their leg and arm for that vehicle and then wait a ridiculous amount of time in most cases to get their vehicle. Yeah. And that's a premium priced vehicle. So I'm going to dismiss this whole point right here. And I will not even go into the robot taxi, which is really a $25,000 car, in my opinion. Uh, they just changed the name from, oh, it's going to be a, let's say, Model 2 Tesla with a price of $25,000. It will be like Model 3, but smaller, maybe a few less features, not as fancy, slower, of course. Uh, but now we will actually call it a robot taxi because only in a robot taxi we can justify how the car can have no glove compartment, for example, and other little features like that, like uh, no steering wheel or detachable steering wheel. And if full self driving is not solved by then, then Tesla can sell those cars directly to the consumer. Now, you may not enjoy it as much as you would enjoy you know, driving a normal car because there's no glove compartment as an example and other things similar to that to lower the cost. But the moment full self driving is going to be out there, it's going to be turned on and then boom, that car is able to make money and Tesla will have a lot of cars in the fleet already immediately. So him saying that Tesla will not have a low priced vehicle is proof that he's not looking into Tesla that carefully that much and therefore I would dismiss this whole argument and anything that he would say I would not I would question it so much there are about 30 EV options available today in the US the price under Tesla slower car lower lowest dollar cost model likely more than 50 by 2024 and as many as 150 models by 20 plus automakers by 2026 continued dominance of the sector is no longer guaranteed so the logic here goes okay um 30 thirds that's not enough to be tesla so we're gonna make 50 thirds and then later 150 thirds and hopefully that will be tesla now here's the fact it's gonna smell really bad is what i'm trying to, to to say it's 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 not gonna be any this article is really a joke i mean all the supposed competition that he referenced in this article you don't really want to buy those cars when you compare value for value and tesla of course can actually make a lower cost vehicle uh, to go to make a more budget more economy like car so once that happens all that competition is going to completely disappear the question i have for existing owners is what is your threshold if you're not willing to sell now you need to draw up some red lines that would convince you to exit a lower stock quote sales earnings misses from sky high analyst projections for 2023 sky high a lot of them are quite conservative Without doubt, less risky growth stories can be found on Wall Street. Many with valuations similar to the S&P 500. Now, I love S&P 500. I sold all my S&P 500 to go all into Tesla stock only in my stock portfolio. And he's saying, why not focus on them with your investment capital instead, basically? Well, I'll tell you why. For me, however much Tesla stock drops, it's just a sale. It's a sale. As long as I can see how robot taxis are going to come to market, the day that I don't see a clear path to that, then I would seriously reconsider my position. But today, you look at full self driving videos, and the car is getting exponentially better. I mean, just compared from January this year to now, like back then, it kind of sucked really badly and today well it still sucks in many cases but now it can do some spectacular things over and over and over and over again repeatedly not just one time like before if a car would do something hard it would just do it once and you would try to repeat it and it would mess up like nine times out of ten it would be so hard to have it repeat anything but now you can go for some insanely difficult turns and it will just do it right 
9 times out of 10. Amazing. Projecting a Tesla decline of 75% from last November's all-time high gets you close to $100 per share in the first half of 2023. Don't say it cannot happen. Now, here's what I think. I hope it happens because I will be able to buy the stock at insane prices just because the market is irrational and freaks out for a moment and eventually the market figures out what's going on it just takes some time and then the stock will go back up so if it does happen i i will love it so i will only consider selling really the main thing that would trigger me to sell is if i see that tesla is not going to solve full self driving but there's no way it's going to happen uh, because right now look at this video it's basically it did the impossible 10 times it's it's in, oh sorry this video right here click on that and i will see you there my name is matt Postius. the best way to support the channel is to click the like button so if you haven't yet do that right now i will appreciate that very very much thank you for watching